What's up guys, Joey Salads here, and I just wanted to give a little bit of a story right now. I'm um, talking about Vine, because Vine's dead. Um, I actually have a Vine tattoo. I don't know if anyone knows about that. And um, I got the tattoo because uh, it's what started my whole internet career, Vine. So uh, I'd like to thank Vine for that. But I'd like to tell you a story, a personal experience I had with Vine on why I left Vine and why Vine is shit and why I got shut down and why nobody's on it anymore. So I'm gonna give the story and I'm gonna let you guys know. I started out on Vine. I was in the top 100 Viners, you know, most followed, most uh, viewed. Um, I know the comments are gonna kind of, kind of come in now saying, "Your Vine sucked. Your Vine fucking sucked. You're the worst Viner ever." Yeah. Okay, that's how Vine was. People would either fucking hate you or they fucking love you. Doesn't matter if I sucked. That's where my fucking account was. Doesn't matter if I was the cancer of Vine like everybody else. Everyone else is a fucking cancer of Vine. I, I hated the Vine community. Fucking brutal. So, everything was fine and dandy. I was making money on Vine through product placement ads, not through Vine directly. And then after um, I moved out to LA to pursue this, you know, go through different avenues, you know, beyond Vine, I got banned from the popular page right when I moved. So now I'm not getting as many brand deals because my channel is not on the popular page anymore. I'm not gaining followers. I'm not getting views anymore. I randomly got banned from the popular page one day out of nowhere. So I reached out to Vine Help, no answer. Reached out to Vine Help Twitter, no answer. I then went on LinkedIn and looked up every single employee that worked at Vine. It was like 30 something at the time, at least the ones that were listed. I emailed every single employee, not one messaged me back. And I think this was now two years ago, I'm at VidCon and I'm with another Viner friend of mine who had the same exact issue. He, he actually had more followers than me. He was in like the top 70, I think. He had the same problem I had. And this time I'm transitioning my Vine account over to YouTube because I, I, I foresaw the downfall of Vine because of this. I was at VidCon and I saw on Twitter that one of the Vine creators, one of the creators of Vine was there. Oh shit, let me find him. So me and my friend, who needed help as well, we found him and we told him, hey, we're so glad we found you. We're having Vine issues and no one's giving us an answer. Nobody's even telling us why we got banned. No one's telling us, you know, what we can do to fix it or, you know, help us out. You know, we've been on Vine since the start. We're huge creators and this is our job, our livelihood, and it's, and it's, it's, it's hurting us badly. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I don't know anything about it. Uh, you can email this person or this person and they'll, they'll get back to you, they'll help. We emailed them, nothing, not a response, nothing back. Nothing, just come, like we never existed. And I've heard plenty of stories of Viners who had similar issues and there's no Vine customer support or help. They'll only help you if there's like a te technical issue on the app where like, oh, I'm uploading a Vine and it's not uploading. They'll fucking message you back then, but they won't message you back if you're a top creator having problems. There are some people who you have to know somebody on the inside to get any help. You like actually personally know them. If you didn't personally know them, you were screwed. So I, uh, my friend who actually knew somebody at Vine was like, yeah, text, text uh, no, he was like, tweet out my boy at Owl, Owl Squid, you know, you, he was friends with him, he'll, he'll help you out. I messaged him and I said, hey, I'm having some Vine issues, can you please help me out? And this is what he responded. I can give an F about your Vine issues, I just had a kid. This is from one of the top employees at Vine. He apparently had a kid the same week I messaged him. Now listen, how the fuck am I supposed to know you have a kid? You just had a kid. Second off, just because you have a kid doesn't mean that you don't have a job anymore. It's still your job. Next, if you just had a kid and someone's having a problem with your job, either ignore it or you say, hey man, I just had a kid. I will get back to you or uh, hit this person up or I'll link you with somebody to figure it out. If you're going to make the time to respond like an asshole, you could easily just not be an asshole. So right when that happened, I was like, this app is out. This app is done. And ever, ever since this happened, I think Vine had a little was staying steady and then it just down, it went downhill and now they turned it off. This was like two years ago, year and a half ago. So I'm glad I left Vine because I'm very successful on Facebook and my uh, downhill career on YouTube currently. 
so I'm kind of thankful for that. I'll always be thankful for Vine for, for giving me the start. But fuck everybody that works there. Fuck everybody that did work there. You're all pieces of shit. And you're all the reason why the app sucks. Because you lacked customer su support. Customer service for your creators. What Facebook and now Twitter and YouTube, they love their creators. They love their influencers. Even they may not get it right all the time. But YouTube has a strike system. You fuck up once. They tell you this is what you did wrong. In a month or two, we're taking the strike away. Just don't fuck up anymore. Or you could actually talk to someone personally. I've had plenty of YouTube issues and I've gotten immediate support back to fix the problems that I had. Same thing with Facebook. And now Twitter is starting to really get in on supporting the influencers. What keeps the people at these apps are the top influencers because they're the ones, I don't want to even include myself because you guys will just probably be like, you guys, your videos suck, you know, you're not entertaining. Because the influencers is what brings the entertainment, which brings the content to the social media platform, which brings the people to view it. If you take all the creators off of an app, that's what happens with Vine. And now, you know, YouTube knew it for a long time. Facebook's jumping on board. They're all offering monetization programs because they want their influencers to make money off their videos through their app. Not through third party like Vine was where you get sponsorship deals. They realize the creators is what keeps the apps alive and the social media is alive. Vine didn't realize that. They're a bunch of idiots. They probably made a quick buck off of Twitter and just let the thing ride, let the thing fail, let the thing die. So the only people to blame, I would blame them. They had a great thing going for them and Vine could have lasted a long ass time, but they fucked up. And Instagram raped them. They took them out the game so fast, Instagram. What Instagram did was, when the Viners moved to start posting their videos to Instagram and Facebook and even YouTube, what Instagram did was they took all the Viners and promoted them to the popular front page almost every day and was like, you don't need Vine, you got us. I don't know if anyone else noticed that, but if you go to the popular page, it's all ex-Viners getting millions of views on Instagram. Took Vine out the game, they totally, that was a brilliant move by Instagram saying, F your vine, we got you. And now, the transition into Facebook, YouTube, a lot of the old viners came out and they became successful on other platforms. There were, there were some who were only successful on vine, and now that the whole vine thing's crumbling, they, uh, they're kind of screwed. They should have moved on. They should have followed the trend like everybody else. Luckily for me, I started moving on before everybody started moving out because of the problem that I faced. And uh, fuck Vine, fuck everybody at Vine. You all suck. You are all probably the worst social media business men and women currently. I love Vine itself. I love the concept of Vine. I love how Vine boosted my career into this direction, but seriously, fuck everybody that worked there, and fuck everybody that's working there. You guys suck. You guys don't know how to run a business, you don't know how to run an app, you had something great going for you, you your shit was on the top of the world, and you just ruined it. You fucking ruined it with, how, how does a Vine, one of the, the top people who worked at Vine curse out one of the fucking one of one of the top creators on on Twitter, like, wh what are you thinking? He doesn't work there anymore. He worked at like a dozen other tech companies. All of the tech companies failed. Um, I actually got into a Twitter beef with him recently. So yeah, and uh, I feel like in the end of the day, everything that happened with Vine was for the better. It made other social media. Companies appreciate the influencers for making their apps viable and they're, they're supporting them um, Including myself. So I like to think I think that is a learning lesson from From the failure of Vine I hope Pornhub buys it out That would be pretty fucking cool This video is for All the shit that I did in the past. I'm doing this for you guys as payback and there's more stuff that's gonna happen to me soon What are you doing, Steve? 
Guess what, guys?